The weekends is for me, sis. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with y'all kids for a little bit, but baby, pick up. Pick up is at 2 p.m. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So, you guys, today is Tuesday. Um, I just finished filming beauty content. I just finished filming this makeup look, which is the same makeup I wore for my birthday. But we're gonna call it a Valentine's Day tutorial, okay? Um, so yeah, I think this is perfect Valentine's Day anyway. So this video should be up very, very soon. I know y'all are proud of me because I know some of you guys were saying that don't stop doing the beauty content, don't stop filming makeup looks. So I got y'all. For those of you guys that like vlogs, the vlogs are not gonna stop. And for those of you guys that like the beauty content and me doing makeup looks, I'm gonna throw y'all, you know, a beauty video every now and again, you know, here and there. I hopefully I can at least film a beauty video at least once a week. Um it's kind of different though because like before COVID, like I was going a lot of places and going out, so I was doing my makeup. And now um, that we're like not doing nothing, I haven't been doing my makeup a whole lot. Now that my birthday is out the way, I am planning for Kason's birthday because Kason's birthday is Friday, which is in today's Tuesday, Friday. Your birthday is in three days, Kason. His birthday is in three days. So for Kaysen's birthday, I need to actually call the hotel. So basically I got him a hotel for his birthday. Um, we did invite his, um, his dad's girlfriend's son. So yeah, um, he's gonna come, Tristan is gonna come, my nephew, and then Kaysen and my brother. Um, yes, my and then Jay. So um, we're just gonna get a hotel. I made sure the hotel had two TVs in it because um, we pretty much gonna throw them like a sleepover slash game night so they can play the PS5. Um, he's gonna bring his games. Tristan's gonna bring his PS5. So the boys can kind of just have fun, have a game night. I'm probably gonna do order them um, pizza, candy, yes, cake. Look at Casey, I'm like, yes sir, yes sir. <laughs> um, juice, whatever they want for the most part. And y'all, the hotel also has like this kickback or happy hour. Um, and sis is excited about the happy hour. That's for mommy. Mommy needs the happy hour. So I'm gonna be like, I'll be right back. Let me go downstairs. <laughs> Let me stop y'all. But now, and I'm not kidding. I'm dead ass. But, um, they do have like a happy hour. And I think they also gonna have like hot dogs, nachos, um, just stuff that the kids can really enjoy, um, as well. So it's a really nice hotel. And the pool is also open, y'all. I gotta tell her, um, the pool is open. So, um, it's a heated pool. So it's gonna be really, really fun, really nice. So I booked a room for um, Friday through Saturday. And Saturday is his actual day of his birthday. And I'm just gonna take him to um, Rock and Jump on Saturday so they can jump and have fun. And then you gotta come back and get your kids on Saturday. Y'all gotta come get your kids, okay? Cause the weekends is for me, sis. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with y'all kids for a little bit, but baby, pick up. Pick up is at 2 p.m. I'm not playing. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, um, I had what else I had to tell y'all? Oh, let me sit down for this, sis, because I'm just standing up. So, okay, in one of my previous vlogs, I had told you guys that Babe and Kaysen's dad had finally met um around after Christmas, like before New Year's. But Kaysen's dad and his girlfriend have been dating for like a year, y'all, and I still have not met her. Um, but um, she had kind of been talking to my sister on Facebook. Um, I just kind of felt like it wasn't my place, but a lot of you guys were commenting and just saying that, you know, uh, you should say something and you should reach out. So long story short, she ended up talking to my sister, her sister, my sister gave me her number. I end up actually, um, texting her, um, just really sh small talk about Kaysen's party, about, um, you know, if her son had any allergies, any food allergies, anything that I needed to know. Um, pretty much because when somebody else's kid is in my care, y'all, I try to make sure, you know, everything, everything. Um, and I also did ask her, um, if it was okay, uh, if he be on camera because I do vlog, um, and, you know, the camera is always going. So, she was like, oh, yeah, I'm sure he'll love that or whatever. So, we did kind of get a chance to briefly talk, but not physically, like, meet each other. So, hopefully that happens really soon. Like, hopefully that happens, um... Friday like I hope I get a chance to meet her um, but I gotta tell her about the swimsuit too I mean about the swimming trunks too because the pool is open but y'all I have just pretty much been all over the place first it was my birthday 
and now it's Kason's birthday so I pretty much got him out the way we just have to like actually get him out the way like wait for the date to pass and y'all then next weekend I have um my sister's wedding she's getting married February the is it the 5th or the 6th but I'm trying to get everything ready for that I'm trying to order everything I need because I am responsible for doing the bridal party's makeup um the girl most of the girls makeup so I'm trying to make sure I got lashes, I got liners. I'm trying to make sure I come up with a very simple makeup look. Uh, I'll probably film um, another video next week, something like what I'll do for the bridal party. Um, something quick, something simple so I can get the girls done. And what else? And then after that, Valentine's Day, y'all. Then we have babe birthday and then we're supposed to be flying out to Miami. Like we have a lot going on, a lot, um, a lot, y'all. So yeah, um, what else did I have to tell y'all? I'm so glad that you guys told me to like, you know, maybe I should just kind of reach out or say something because, you know, at the end of the day, like I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have had to do that and shouldn't have to do that. But at the end of the day, a closed mouth don't get fed as well. So yeah, y'all, let me tell y'all about my legs. Y'all, my legs are hurting. I am too damn old to be acting up how I did on that party bus. Like, I was a dancer. I was on a dance team in high school, you guys. And by high school, I graduated from high school like seven, eight years ago. Okay, sis? So, I was on a dance team like all throughout high school, all throughout elementary, all throughout junior high school. Sis can't hit no split no more. Sis got to start stretching. I got to start exercising. Y'all, when I woke up the next day after, my, um, after the party bus, my legs felt like they were like, noodles like they felt like they were noodles y'all <laughs> it's so crazy i'm like i am too old for this i'm too old so yeah um my legs felt like noodles y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and um enough of me talking insert um the clips before my birthday um my birthday eve so you guys can see what i did before my birthday and then we'll get back to regular scheduled programming to this vlog Stay tuned. Good morning, you guys. It is my birthday Eve, you guys. It is Angel Day Eve. I am so excited, y'all. So right now, um, I'm headed to run a few errands. Um, I just got an email from Victoria's Secret. They're gonna give me a free pair of panties for my birthday. Um, so I'm excited about that, but I have to go on my actual birthday, which is tomorrow. And then I also am going to go into Pandora. Um, because babe got me a pandora bracelet for my birthday and i love it you guys um <clears throat> what is going on with me but babe got me a pandora bracelet and i love it y'all but um in a minute when i get to a stopping point i'm gonna show y'all what it looked like but i'm just afraid that it may kind of catch on to a lot of stuff and it may get like tangled um so i'm just going in here to kind of see what they have and to see what other kind of style br bracelets they have um i honestly don't want to like take the bracelet back of course i'm going to keep all the charms he bought me but i just feel like when somebody buys you a gift like i don't really think you should like you know i hate to say the word edit it but change it or change anything about it because that person that means that they picked that out specifically and specially for you um but i just don't know i don't know if it's gonna get tangled and stuff or caught and stuff dang i forgot the books i was gonna bring some books um take some books to the school that i had at home because i just have too much school stuff at my house y'all so yeah i'm gonna get ready to show y'all a bracelet because i have been wearing this pandora bracelet right here y'all and i know babe is tired of me wearing this bracelet because um one of my little booze while dating bought it for me um but i was just telling him um i wear this not because of who bought it i wear it because i love it and i love my pandora bracelet it's actually this girl that works with me she has like five of them on her wrist or maybe even more and they look so good with the charms like layered they are just so pretty um so i love both of them layered together because i tried it on this morning but yeah, like he probably just over me wearing this. Um, but you know, when I was dating one of my little boos, when I had surgery, um, my I didn't tell y'all about it, but I had a breast reduction and breast lift, and they brought me this, you know. So, but I was like, babe, you sure you don't mind me wearing it? And he like, no, I don't mind you wearing it, you know, or whatever. But he literally bought me one because he's tired of me wearing it low key. I think he really is. He probably just ain't gonna say nothing. But do y'all think that it's wrong for me to wear it? or not comment down below and let me know because i feel like you know just when somebody buys you a gift or something like it doesn't mean that you're thinking of that person when you wear it obviously if you 
you know, not with that person. Um, but I just wear it because I like it, you know? That's just like a girl buy him some sneakers and they some dope ass Jordans or something, you feel me? And he like them. You think I'm gonna say, don't wear them, babe, because so-and-so bought them. Who cares? Wear that shit, okay? This is what the bracelet looks like. It is gorgeous. The only thing is, like, y'all see this dangling part that's kind of, like, hanging down? I'm just worried that it's gonna catch on to a lot of stuff because this is good for somebody that's maybe um, plus size or has a larger wrist or something like that because it's adjustable. Okay, y'all. So, I decided... Let me take this mask off. I decided to keep it, y'all, because the girl in the store, like, I just felt like I should not exchange anything that Bay bought for me. I don't want him to think that he didn't do a good job because he really did. Like, it's really, really nice. And the girl, she was like, and you got the new shit? And you got the new one? Like, she was like, girl, you better keep that. That just came out. I was like, oh, let me keep it then. <laughs> And I just FaceTimed him and told him that I um, kept it. I was like, look which one I got. He was like, why you got the same one? I was like, I kept it, babe. And um, I love it. I love it. I just got to stop taking baths in them. But she was like, you don't need to take no bath. You're supposed to take it off. So, I got to do better. Y'all, it's like hours later. Would you believe, sis, I still have not done my hair, y'all. I still have not done my hair y'all i ordered these glasses um off amazon i'm trying to open these with one hand let me show y'all let me show you wait a minute okay it's more than it's two pair that's right so these are um blue light glasses so i end up getting the clear ones if y'all can see and these tortic shell um tortic lens i guess what they call tortic shell style um, because I work so much in front of the computer and I'm also editing all the time. So got those from Amazon says I paid nine dollars for both pair and Let me show y'all what I got from belt. So y'all know sis be finding all the deals. So I end up getting um, Mac velvet teddy. Can y'all see that? I don't know what might be wrong with this camera y'all. It be doing its own thing. I Got Mac velvet teddy which is this beautiful nude. I'm surprised out of all the MAC lipsticks I have in my collection, I don't have Velvet Teddy and I don't have Snob. And y'all, the girl, wait a minute. Okay, there it is, Snob. And then the girl in the store, she was like, oh my God, I love Snob. It's like my go-to uh, when I went in there today. And y'all, I got both of these lipsticks. Guess for how much, y'all? Guess for how much, sis? Just guess. I got both of these lipsticks for $20. One MAC lipstick is $20, sis. Y'all know I be giving all the good deals and I get all the good deals. I actually have a built card, so I had like a $10 off coupon for my birthday, plus 20% off, off cosmetics, and then 5% off a of pickup. So, $20 for both. Babe was like, just get both of them. Just get both of them. I'm like, okay. Because honestly, y'all, I was just going to get snob because just one would have been only $4.88. But anyways, I wanted both um, so I can fill up my matte collection because I only needed two more to complete my vanity. What else did I get? And then I went into H&M, y'all. Y'all know I said I was doing a return, but y'all know I don't do right. Uh, I ended up finding these earrings. These are like the same ones that I got, but in silver, um, there were $1, sis. Like these are regular almost well six dollars i got them for one dollar so i couldn't pass up on those and then i got this cute nude top it's like a long sleeve um v-neck type of henley top everybody has been wearing a lot of nudes and neutrals so i was like you know what let me just pick up this top and this top was only 13 dollars sis y'all know i be finding the deals period okay so back to this vlog I am getting ready. I don't know if I'm gonna go get lunch or we gonna eat some lunch here. I really need to take out something to cook um, for dinner tonight, but I don't know what I wanna cook. Maybe I should take out like some chicken or something. So it's just me and Casey here. I don't think baby's coming home today. Sometimes he comes home during the week. Sometimes he doesn't. Um, I'm gonna find something out to take. I'm gonna take something out to cook. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna take something out. And let me show y'all what I got. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all, let me show y'all, cause I'm excited. <laughs> Look what I got y'all. I got my crock pot. Y'all, I got my crock pot. I 
took you guys advice because a lot of you guys were saying that um you were hearing bad things about the pressure cooker and that people were literally burning and hurting themselves so this plate is safe i ended up getting a seven quart the bigger one that i had showed you guys i think this one was 27 um and i'm excited like if you have any like favorite crock pot dishes or um something like that comment down down below and let me know because i know growing up my mom she put like roast in it i was gonna put some oxtails in it i was telling babe i was like i think i'm gonna go to the store and get some oxtails and like some potatoes and carrots and peppers and onions and make some oxtails and rice because i have still not tried that jamaican restaurant that i was telling you guys about in my last vlog because casein every time i have him i just hate when we have to go to more than one spot because he doesn't always eat what i eat but um he gotta start trying something y'all he got to he gotta help me out okay i'm like y'all the second baby like the second child that i have like i feel like with your first child it's like you're kind of growing together like you knew it is but the second time around oh you know you like look this is what we having for dinner this is what you gonna eat and if you don't eat it then i don't know what to tell you i'm excited i gotta put her up and i also ordered me um a new ironing board too i need to get me a new iron because babe that's why we was kind of low-key um arguing and fussing at each other y'all in the last vlog because he was like oh yo iron so raggedy and i'm like if my iron so raggedy why don't you bring your iron over here then shoot you just left your house bring your fancy ass iron over here since my iron so raggedy I'm like, don't be talking about my stuff. So I had to get me a new ironing, um, a new iron because I did get an ironing board. I don't really iron like that, y'all. Like, I, I just don't really iron like that. Um, and if it looks like I, it need to be ironed, I don't even worry about buying it. Um, I iron some stuff, y'all. I ain't gonna go wrinkle clearly. But um, he talked about my iron real bad, sis. Real bad. I'm like, damn, you gonna just go get your iron, okay? Because y'all, we literally stay, um, we stay like. 10 minutes away from each other like we don't stay far from each other at all and y'all baby and i talk about all the time like only if i would have waited a few more months before i actually bought my house like we literally could have been staying together but my aunt always told me to um and this is my first time being out on my own and everything like that i've never had an apartment but y'all like my aunt always told me to know what it's like to live by yourself and stay by yourself before you move with somebody else or with a man that way you know that you can hold your own down you can pay your own bills and it's just nice having your own shit i promise you it's nice because we both have our own homes even though babe is always over here but it's it's, it's just nice it's really nice um especially because we're not married or anything like that i actually have to go to his house because i think a pool boy or something's supposed to be coming over to look at the pool because we're trying to get the pool ready for um for march Y'all, spring will be here for you know it. Spring and summer, and we're gonna have hella pool parties. And of course, you guys are invited. Now um, when the summer come up. Yes, when the summer comes up, um, y'all are invited. Y'all, this crock pot is a really, really nice size. Like, this is a really nice Like, this thing is actually kind of huge, sis. Like, wow. Do y'all think it's too big? Look at Tyson telling y'all, hey. <laughs> I, I, I think it's too big. You think it's too big? Yeah. Let me know if y'all think it's too big. I done ripped this thing out the box and everything talking about it's too yeah, big. Oh my God. Because I think the other one was like a two quart. Maybe that one would have been too small. I know you guys were saying to get the crock pot. I just can't remember which one you guys were saying to get. The $10 one? Or should I have gotten this one? But this one is seven. Um, Who knows? Maybe I should just keep it. Maybe I'll turn into a chef one day. <laughs> doubt it but um but let me see y'all let me know if y'all think i should keep this because this thing is actually it's kind of huge like it's seven quarts Mama. and i'm trying to figure out where i'm going to put it that is the next question because i can't reach any of these cabinets that are like super high i think i got my blender in like one of these like all of these up here sis like i have to stand on my tippy toes is my blender up here no where is my freaking blender at it's is it up here it's in Mm -mm, I don't think he's in there, baby. I don't know where is the blender. Is it in here? Nope, blender's not in there. Is where is my blender at? It's probably in there. Hold on, baby. Move back, move back, move back. Oh, it's down there. I put it down underneath so that I can get it. So maybe I'm probably just gonna put the crock pot down there too. Cause this cabinet, like, let me show y'all. 
open it up Kason. it has like a lot of space in the back of it so i think i'm gonna go ahead and let it slide on back there and i may just need to put the blender up in one of these and just just when i use it maybe i should get a stool or something um yeah Casey, go bring me a stool i'm gonna put my blender up here and then i'm gonna put the crock pot way in the back in this cabinet right here so y'all Casey is making me go to taco bell for lunch I do not like Taco Bell, you guys. Like, the only thing that I like from there, I'm glad they brought the nacho fries back. Those are really good. But other than that, yeah, I am not a fan of Taco Bell. Unless it's, like, late at night. I know you are, baby. Unless it's, like, late at night and I'm just coming from a party or a club and that's the last resort. Besides, nothing is open at that time anyway besides, what, Crystal's, maybe not even McDonald's. Crystal's, McDonald's, Taco Bell, and what else? Waffle House. Those are like the only things in my city that are open that late. Oh boy. Let's see. So yeah. Taco Bell, here we come. I guess. And like I was saying, I'm not stopping at more than one place. So, it is what it is. And y'all, look at all of this stuff I have in my car. All of these puzzles and all of these boxes. I have even more in the trunk, y'all. And um, that's because... I need to take this stuff to the school and I need I want to take it today but I'm gonna have to make so many trips because that stuff is so heavy y'all I'm trying to see if I should just wait till Friday um because babe come home and he can help me um unload that stuff I don't know y'all I'm thinking about just go ahead and um taking it just because my car is looking like I'm living in it at this point with all of this stuff um what you say you want I want me to cheese on the and hard taco and um a slushy. Three hard tacos, meat and cheese only, and a slushy. Yes. Ooh, the slushy do look good. They got a new one, blue raspberry freeze. It looks really good. Ooh, it's so my exposure is so bright. I don't I, know why I it looks so bright. I want that kind of slushy. I want that kind. You of want the new one? Yeah. Okay. And then I just thought about it, y'all. Friday, like before I check in um, for Casey's birthday, I had to go try on my dress for my sister's wedding um, to make sure that fits. Fingers crossed. My weight, it doesn't really fluctuate a whole lot. I'm either like 140 or like 145, 148. Like my weight doesn't fluctuate too much. Um, so I have to try on my dress Friday. Um, I'm so proud of myself, y'all, because I have like, um, I y'all, oh my God, just count how many times I say um. Like when I go back to edit my vlogs, y'all, I be like, damn, like I say um like 50 times like i could not be a public speaker at all because they will be like because even when like we have like conferences for my job or public speakers and they keep saying um it's kind of like girl you're doing too much but the vlogs are definitely not formal very informal i need to call case and barbara like this is what i do y'all like this is my calendar for the day like everything that i have already done i already crossed out of my list um i need to go to ulta i have a curbside pickup uh because i ordered some makeup for the girls for the bridal party i need to go to sally's and pick up my nails i'm gonna do a nail tutorial soon because i know some of you guys were asking about um how do i do my nails oh my hands kind of ashy like at home and stuff so i'm gonna show you guys um like what kind of nails i use and stuff like that i gotta go to h&m did i bring that top and then i have some other like business stuff to do so let's see how much more I can get done today. Cause I have something to do for my job. It's due literally in like an hour. So I have to hurry up and do it. Um, can I get three hard tacos, meat and cheese only? Three hard tacos, meat and cheese only. Yes. And can I get the midnight berry slushy? Let me also do the five dollar nacho fries box. Okay, what's your drink on it? Um, let me do a Baja Blast and ma'am. I said I got you. Okay, and then on that burrito, let me do no beans. Okay, anything else? That's it. Can you just make sure everything's fresh? I got you. And um, you like any sauce? Yes. Let me do um Diablo. I think that's how you say it. And um mild sauce. Y'all, I went into H and M to do an exchange, and I bought something else. I am just not gonna do right. So I got this shirt y'all and I thought it would be cute with like some um, jeans, maybe my white forces, like a light wash jean, some gold jewelry. It just says Paris on it twice. I really do love a good graphic tee, um, especially when it's kind of oversized too. Um, I might 
like a mix of stuff. I don't like everything to be super tight all the time. Um, and sometimes I want my stuff tight. So, but for the most part, I like to be comfortable. I choose comfort over everything, over everything, period. And then I went into um, Ulta, you guys, and well, I didn't go in. I had a pickup order, and I didn't go in because I know I wasn't going to do right. So, I had a pickup order, and I just got some liners, like I was telling you guys, um, for the bridal party. Uh-oh. Um, for my sister's wedding next weekend. So, let me tell y'all about the story about my Pandora bracelets. Um, since you guys have already seen the day before my birthday portion of this vlog. So, I have two new bracelets. And I actually have one on the way. So long story short, Babe and I went into Pandora together the same day. Like the same day that I went in there the day before my birthday. I was like, Babe, like we were playing around. And next thing I know, the bracelet, the, it was a sliding bracelet. It had actually like got really loose to where it could fall off my arm if I didn't pay attention. And he was like, wait a minute, did you do that? Or did I do that? I was like, I don't know what happened. So I was like, babe, I think we should just get the classic claps ones because I don't want to lose it. You know, I don't want to lose it. So uh, we went in the store together and we end up um, getting these two. Y'all, my baby's so sweet. So now I have two. I actually have three, sis, because they didn't have one in store, so I end up ordering it um, offline. And by the way, if you guys are really into Pandora, Jared has um, clearance on all their Pandora charms and clips and spacers. Um, because, and bracelets too, because I believe they're going, um, they're going to no longer carry Pandora, um, at Jerry online or in store. But, um, when everything comes in, I'm going to show you guys all my charms and everything. But right now I have two bracelets, um, Friday, which is the next vlog I will have up. I'm going to show you guys what my final bracelets all look like. I am so excited because today I found some really, really, um, good charms and some charms that I was actually looking for. So let me show you guys um, what I end up buying today because I have some clips that are coming tomorrow um, and I kind of just got them because they were on sale. They were just $20. They're just like these little ball clips, but I really didn't like it. So something told me to check the website today and I checked it today and they had more stuff on there, y'all. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take those back probably tomorrow, one day this week because um, Kaysen gets a haircut tomorrow and it's kind of like on the way. Um, to where he gets his haircut, probably um, take them back and then wait for these to come back and um, wait for these to come in the mail because they have free two day shipping. So, if I order them today and they ship out tomorrow, they should be here Friday or Saturday. Fingers crossed they're here Friday because I want my stuff and I'm excited. So, let me show y'all real quick um, what they um, look like. Okay, y'all. So, this is one of the clips that I ordered. Um, well, I ordered two of these clips for my um, Pandora bracelet, the one that Babe bought me. So I ordered um, two of these. And these were on clearance for how much? I think these were $22.50. You let me know when you find Pandora charms for $22. They at least start at $35. Um, they even have some on this website, y'all, that are $17 and $15. So, um, and Jared is a legit, authentic, um, a retailer for Pandora. So I also got one of these y'all. I am so excited about this. I have been saying I want me some angel wings or an angel or something because I'm literally an angel. Like not only that is my name, but I'm literally an angel. And this was $25. So I had to get that. And then I was also showing babe this one, but I already have this one, but I have the, um, the clear or diamond CZs, um, instead of the pink, but I just didn't know if I wanted to have pink all the time. I just wanted something all silver to go with a lot more, especially since there's going to be more than one of these on the charm. You know, you need two of them for each charm. Well, for each bracelet. And then I saw this, this was $17.50. This is like those together are really cute, but I didn't get this because I was afraid that maybe the tassels would come out or how would it look if I got, if it got wet. Um, and plus I couldn't find many pictures. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you are not subscribed to the channel and you have not yet become an angel babe, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell, sis, so you won't miss any more of my uploads. And I'll see y'all in my next vlog. Mwah.